Welcome, this is Javier. Today I'm going to show you some uh, of the process of my uh, last illustration. I want to be uh, quick in this tutorial, so let's uh, start. Uh, well, this is the final image, but uh, as uh, usually uh, the, uh, the illustration start with, uh, with some specification in text and then some uh, context. So the title is Noia's Theater. In the nighttime background, a small rented brick in free theater on the outskirts of Athens. In the foreground, a long hired, brooding vampire face the amphitheater as through making a file. So, uh, I, uh, in this case, I use uh, the first concept to, uh, to continue with, uh, with the works. So, the next uh, works that uh, has failed, it's this one. I use uh, 3D base for this illustration uh, because uh, I think that uh, the camera and the perspective it's a very good starting point to uh, to a drawing like this so uh, this is a failed one so uh, finally I uh, I start uh, another one uh, this is uh, more realistic since uh, the lights come from some of the columns and another light uh, in the, the foreground well this is some of, uh, of the process but uh, let's start with the with the main process uh, with the background this is uh, the theater uh, the rendering the final rendering uh, that I have started uh, the image so then I have uh, transformed to a rainier for Amphitheater. I think it is more uh, realistic. See, this is not a building nowadays. Then uh, add some shadows in the background, some details, some uh, shadows in the in the foreground, some adjusting with uh, aerial perspective. The first strokes with some uh, uh, some materials and. Uh, dirty strokes and half minutes. Then add some texture in the f uh, in the floor and in the in the walls of the columns, etc. Then uh, some tiles in the pillars. Add some lamps in the illustration. Then some legs to add some uh, depth in the illustration and more uh, realistic feel. Uh, some foliage, some trees, some uh, some natural uh, elements that uh, could be uh, uh, could be seen that the uh, the stem is in a, in a forest. Then add some fog in the the background so to add some more fabric, uh, realism uh, or dramatic feel to the to the illustration. Then add uh, monster. Uh, well, I think that uh, we will uh, put this layer at uh, the at the final image. Well, some fog in the in the foreground. Some more trees in the middle ground. And now uh, that is a very charismatic uh, and, and dark. Uh, uh, Natural animal, I think. So let's continue with the foreground. Uh, let's uh, start with the character, main character of the image. Then add some fox. That is the first point. Uh, that uh, was first the second point that you will see when you look at the image. And finally, some uh, three foreground. So uh, that is the uh, the more nearest point of the the view uh, the view port of uh, the image uh, from the viewer point. Uh, finally, uh, some adjustment of colors, constant, con contrast, as well, etc. So uh, finally, we have uh, some limits. Uh, this is uh, this uh, will fit. Uh, to the to the initial 
to initial uh, definition of the of the image, but uh, I think that in the center was a little bit empty. So I decided to add some more uh, modification to this uh, to the specification. So I I add uh, the monster that uh, it was some snakes uh, faces that are try are trying to attack to this uh, stunned uh, character. I don't know, but I think that it's uh, it worked. So well, I'm happy with uh, with the result. Um, but have to enjoy with uh, this uh, another uh, approach tutorial. In the in the next, I will try to do some real time uh, tutorial with uh, some another illustration. Uh, well, again, I hope you enjoy. And we will see in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.